Hello and welcome everyone to part 2 of uh, of the Mario mechanic series. So in this we will make a system uh, for the um, coin box. So when we go up to the coin box and we jump just below it, it uh, makes a sound, um, launches the um, coin up in the air and then the coin comes back down. So to start this we will start off in Blender. Now inside Blender we will just click anywhere to make this disappear and we'll just delete the camera so right click delete and then left click delete left click when the sun is on and this is the cube there already so we'll leave that we'll press one on the on the number pad and five i'm just going to move this cube up and on control shift c origin to 3d cursor now i'll press tab on this and i'll make a new tab by dragging this to the left press t go to uv image editor and go down here to face select I'll select this, press U and unwrap, and I'll do that to each of the sides. Once I have done this, I'm going to select all of it. Go to open. I have all the um, um, acquired some Mario uh, box textures from the web. Um, you guys can search for them as well on Google or something. So I'm just going to double click and open this. And now if we go to texture shading, I can see that um, it's been assigned down here. But now as you guys can see, not all of them are facing the right way. So for this, I'll just select this one. And I'll press R, X, 90. Sorry. So I'll do R, X, 180. And then for this one as well, R, X, 180. And this one I'll do R, X, 90. Now once we are happy with this, we can go to file, or one more thing we can do is we can make sure this has a material applied, which it already does, so that's fine. Now we can go to file, export, fpx, and we can call this coinbox.fpx. And the second thing we need is, I'm just going to delete this, I'm going to make a go to mesh, Add a circle, press R, X, type 90, enter. I'm going to press tab on this and go to add select, press E and Y, and then make it about this big. And then selecting all the um, edges on one side, I'll press F to fill that in, and then I'll hold Alt and left click on. Uh, one of the edges, I'll select all of them, then I'll do F to fill the other side as well. Once I have done this, I'm going to tab again and do the face select and then unwrap, unwrap this and the other side as well. Once I have unwrapped this, um, I have got another um, texture from the web for the coin. I'm just going to bring in the coin. Now if I go to texture mode, let me just make sure this is also unwrapped with the right texture. So close this and choose the coin down here. Now I can see that the coin has been applied here. I'm going to press to have to press one again on the number pad, move this up, and then control shift alt C or do to a cursor. And then I'll tap, select this side and rotate just a little bit until the coin is straight. The texture, the other side as well. To rotate this around by pressing R until it looks straight to me and then both of these sides should be facing the right um, direction now for these um, few I'm going to go to face select and right click and hold and right click here now I'll assign a material to these which will be a yellow material I'll do assign that here and I'll select these two faces I'll make a new material and I'll assign this one here, and if you go to solid mode, we can see that both of them have a different material assigned to them. And we can go ahead, file, export FPX. Actually, one more thing before we do that, we'll actually press tab again, and we'll scale this, after going to texture mode, we'll scale this in on the x-axis, so it looks more like a coin. Now we can go to file, Export FPX 
and export this as a coin. And we'll head over to Unreal Engine. Now inside Unreal Engine, we'll go to Import and find the um, assets that you have just saved. And I'll just uh, control click both of them and then open. And then just do an import. Now once you have them in here, you want to also um, go ahead and import your your textures for your coin and your box. And you want to make a new material from that. Now my material is basically, I have plugged this into the um, emissive and this controls how bright the texture gets. So once you make a material, um, you can make a material by right, right clicking and create material. I'm just going to open my boxes. So the coin and the so this is my material. It's just been um, plugged into the emissive. So I'm going to find my material and just drag it on here. And the and the one for the coin as well. As you guys can see, um, it has some nice materials. Now we can go ahead and save this. And down here, we will make a new blueprint class. We'll choose the actor class and we'll call this BP underscore coin box. Now we'll double click and open this. And we can drag in. Our, first of all, we'll drag in our coin box onto default scene and then our coin onto the default scene. We want to make sure that it's not parented to the box. Once we have these in here, we want to make sure the coin is, of course, inside the box as it already is. Then what we'll do is we'll add a box collision And we'll place this just below the, uh, below the box where the player will actually hit this box from. And I'll, um, I'll increase the size of this. So this size is just fine. Now we'll head over to our event graph and the first thing we'll do is we'll select our box and we'll call an event when our player character will overlap the box. What we want to do is here is we'll um, first of all we'll do for our coin box we'll do add relative location and we'll add a timeline so the timeline update goes into here the coin box goes up here We'll plug this in here, and then the next thing we'll do is we'll add another relative location, this time for the coin. And we'll just add a little timeline down here. And we'll connect this here, and we'll connect this down here. Now before we work on our timelines, one thing um, I'll do is, and then after a delay of about, so we'll add a delay, and a delay of about 2 seconds. What we will do is, we will go ahead and and destroy actor. So destroy component, and we'll destroy our coin after 2 seconds, once it has been um, used. Now in our first timeline, so we'll not a float one, we'll add a, a vector track down here, and we'll uncheck the X and the Y, and on the Z, so add 0 seconds, we want this to stay at 0, we'll add um, another one, at 1 second, we want the value to be 2, And at about 2 seconds, we want the value to be minus 2. 
Now if we compile this and we just need to connect our new track to a delta location and for our coin actually for our box I'll reduce the values quite a bit so I'll do about minus one and one and then we will open our coin box timeline we'll add another vector track here and only z axis so at zero seconds it stays at zero at one seconds we'll do a value of three and at two seconds we'll do a value of minus 1.5 and the length for this needs to be about 3 should be fine now we compile this head back to our graph and we'll do delta location down here we'll compile this and one more thing we need to do is once the player hits the box we need to change the material of the box to a used one now I have already made a material for that which is down here so this is the texture for that so what I did is um, I used the same texture as the question mark I just painted orange everywhere and black in these four spots. So we'll go down here and we'll do set material on our coin box. So we choose coin box down here and we'll do. So I'm just going to apply my material down here. Now if you click minimize. You can go ahead and drag out our coin box somewhere around here. You might need to um, play around with the size to get it to match whatever size um, you're working with. Now we'll click play and if I hit the box, you can see the box goes up. But right now it's going down too much so we need to adjust that just a little bit. So we'll head back to our coin box. I'm also going to make this quite small in real world space. Make sure it's in the middle and just leave it here. So you might have to um, play around with the timeline to get it to move move up and down uh, nicely. So this one I'm just going to move this to zero. And now let's play. Let's jump. So I'm going to make sure my X and Y are hidden again. So you just need to play around with these values to reach a value that works for you. So I'll do 0.5 seconds, value of 1. And 1 seconds, value of minus 1. And the whole thing lasts about, let's say, 1 second. Now if I click play, this is a lot better. And the, the coin goes um, up and down as well. So you can play around with the values of these to get it to move up and down the way you want it to. Last thing we'll do is we'll just add a sound as well. So we'll do play sound at location. Sound will be coin sound effect. And we'll select our default to, uh, scene root and do get location. So get actor location and connect that down here. Now we compile. Just going to increase the value of this to so the value of our now we click play. We hit the box, it goes up, the coin goes up and down, the sound plays, and then the um the coin gets deleted. So this is it guys for the second mechanic. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video.